Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live. Lots of stocks out here we're watching uh, in the pre-market. Big day for earnings. Let's start with GE here. Uh, GE, uh, their earnings uh, looking to still focusing on breaking the company up. But overall, an interesting quarter from this company, guys. Organic orders up 4%. They did offer up a, a mixed outlook, taking that outlook down in their healthcare business. But here's another company I think seeing uh, really an impact of high levels of inflation, but nonetheless, we're seeing GE shares up here. Well, it was a blowout quarter for them. 78 cents a share versus the 37 cent estimate. Okay, I know it's Driven GE by aerospace, fine. mostly okay, by aerospace. Okay, so fine. Aerospace sales were up 27%. Orders were up 26%. The company did cut its cash flow, cash flow forecast for the full year. So, like, it wasn't universally good. Mm -hmm. But that earnings per share, like we're not used to having good surprises from General Electric recently. <laughs> I, right? I, I just don't think it was as good as the market. Look, energy oh, orders down. The shares were only up 2%. Power it's not, orders it's down, huge... healthcare orders down. Yes, fair. It wasn't a fantastic quarter, but go. that earnings, it no, it wasn't a great quarter. But the earnings per share figure seems to be, uh, and the surprise positive cash flow in the quarter seems to be what people are reacting to. Right, but all of these are surprises in a broader trend lower. They yes, said themselves, 100%. they are contributing continuing to trend towards the low end of its 2022 outlook on all metrics except as you mentioned free cash flow and so that they also said that the working capital is going to be pressured as they're trying to protect consumers their customers from the impact of supply chain challenges they're also going to be making vernova sexy by combining <laughs> small, two smaller business units and trying to make that the, the breadwinner. Yeah, <laughs> renewable energy and power. Yeah. It's coming through. It is uh, old uh, company ticker day on Yahoo Finance. The top tickers on our site, Walmart, Coca-Cola, GE, GM, and 3M. Well, they're all reporting, they so all that reporting. makes sense. Yes. Um, and speaking of 3M, by the way, that company also reported and also announced a spinoff, joining the spinoff party. In its case, it's spinning off its healthcare unit in a tax-free transaction. That'll happen by the end of 2023. 3M's going to keep a stake of nearly 20% in that business. Now, this, at the same time, 3M's cutting its forecast for the full year. It now says sales are going to fall a half a percent to 2.5%. It had seen sales growth on the year. It also cut its earnings per share forecast. So... You know, it looks like people are, the market's reacting well to the spinoff news. It also, by the way, interestingly, is announcing a, a bankruptcy filing for one of its units. This has been a bit of an overhang for the stock. Big it's point. called Aero Technologies, if I'm saying it right. It had been involved in a court battle involving um, U.S. military veterans regarding earplugs that it mm. made that were allegedly um, had caused harm. So now that unit is filing for bankruptcy. So maybe also that overhang being removed, that being resolved, is also helping move the shares higher. No, that's exactly, I'm totally with you. I think, uh, you know, the spinoff news, I'm sure, is good to see for long suffering 3M uh, okay. shareholders. But it's that news because that has been a major overhang to the stock's valuation. We've talked to a lot of analysts on this. That has been a key problem. Uh, but overall, now you have GE splitting up. Uh, yeah. They set this in motion 3M. If you're not an industrial company thinking about ways, to split up and drive value, you're missing the party.